In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make this trendy abstract shape poster in Kittle. This tutorial is super easy and perfect for even those that are just getting into design. And if you wanna follow along and make your own, sign up for Kittle for free using the link in the description below. So for this poster design, I have opened up a 16 by 20 new project. I knew that I wanted the background to be a nice pink, so I went for F49EB1 as the hex code if you wanna follow along. I hit T to add a text block and went for Familigen Grotesque, just a really nice clean sans serif font that I particularly like how the lines in the W, the N, the M, connect together it has a little bit of a curve on the inner side that i find has a lot of character and is super clean i'm going to edit the text here to say is the which that'll make more sense is definitely the middle of a phrase uh, left justify that adjust my text block and put this up here in the corner uh, nestle that right there and make sure that the space between the left side of the text block and the top is even i'm going to duplicate that text block by holding option and then dragging that text block down to copy it I changed that to the word what and then rotated it 90 degrees to the left and put it on that left side of the poster. Did the same thing again and hit option and drag the text over to duplicate it again. Change this one to point question mark. So our full phrase is what is the point? I'm gonna nestle that up in the top right corner. As you see, the blue dotted guides are popping up to help make sure that everything is lined up and neat. I'm gonna go to my elements panel and type in abstract shape. I'm gonna scroll down until I find something kinda gooby, something orbish that I think can fill the space really well. I like this one. I'm gonna rotate this around and size it up so I can kinda know where I wanna place it. Make this a little bigger, put that right there. I have another color I wanna work with here, FF3E00 which is a super bold like red orange that definitely won't print but I went for a super bold color because I knew I would be lowering the opacity to have the text cut through a little bit so I'm gonna adjust the size of this for a minute and see where it looks good this is the placement that I went with again I hit T to add a new text block for this one I just went for Roboto uh, I use Roboto a lot it's super clean sans serif doesn't really give me a lot of problems edit this text to say what is the point to kind of reflect our text that's going around the edge there. I'm gonna adjust the line height to kind of tidy this up and make the lines closer together. A nice, neat little text block. Adjust that right there. Maybe something around 14 looks good. I'm gonna drag this over, line it up, and then stick it down in the corner. Again, I'm gonna click Option and drag that to duplicate. That is a super useful function. Edit this text block to say, if I can't make things, and then center that up. Again, option drag to duplicate, edit this text block that I want to make. What is the point if I can't make things that I wanna make? If you're a designer, you can relate to that for sure. And this is the poster design that I ended up with. Using Kittle, it's super easy to recreate this type of design yourself using different fonts, colors, and shapes. You can get posters printed like this pretty cheap locally, and it's a great way to decorate your office, your room, your dorm room, and any other space. Or maybe you just wanna hop on a specific design trend and sell posters just like this on print-on-demand places like Amazon or Etsy. I actually got this printed out myself locally, and I'll definitely be hanging this up somewhere. Kittle is free to sign up for and easy to try out. It'll just take you a few seconds to get logged in. And you can even start with this poster template using the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this tutorial, leave a like and a comment, and make sure you subscribe so you can see more Trinity Design tutorials just like this one. See you guys in the next one. Peace.